response. I called too, he said. It was just
as you do. The husband seemed almost mesmerized by the water. I can feel that too. You do kind of just get sucked in watching it, right? He was standing with his back to the pool, maybe planning on what he was going to do with the house. Who knows? The sun was coming down. It was dusky. joke like I promise I didn't hire those birds then one of the dogs the big black one came walking over onto the pool deck I guess his nose touched the back of the guy's leg he got super startled took a step back and fell into the pool a million things were going through my mind I hope this guy doesn't panic I hope he can swim daughter couldn't stop laughing. She was hysterical. I'm like, are you okay? I'm so sorry. He said, yes, I'm fine. I think he was embarrassed. He got out of the pool dripping wet. Just shoes were really nice. The wife eventually comes back and doesn't understand what happened because she was looking at the storage under the stairs. I tried to explain without her husband, without making her husband seem like a total fool. I totally blamed the dog. Then I ran and got him three or four towels and he dried off the best that he could. We eventually had to finish the showing. He had to take his shoes off and leave them outside. <laughs> I like the story. Um, he squeezed the water out of his socks. And went through the house barefoot. They didn't make an offer, but it wasn't the one. Uh, oh, they did make an offer, but it wasn't the one the seller went with. Day, I haven't told the owner that a buyer fell into this prop's pool on the property. That's kind of funny. I like that one. Just because I could see that happening very easily. Like I feel like I could have done that. Residents now tend more towards behind the scene creatives like the classical musicians and screenwriters, real estate agents, and homeowners say. I spent much of my spare time in my parents' art studio. I spent 
especially if I ever wanted to talk to them. I never knew my parents was married. I was born, but lived near each. They split up before I was born, but lived near each other in New York and then Philadelphia. When we were little, my older brother, Sal, Salius, and I in alternated weeks with my mother and father. I'm going to skip down a little bit. When I was 13 and lived in Maine, my father's studio burned down along with his paintings, some works by famous artists and family photographer. We had all crammed into a nearby guest house. My stepsister was born soon after but died three months later in 1976 from the sudden infant death syndrome. I guess I should tell you who I'm talking about. This um, is Didis Welliver. Um, I have absolutely no idea who this person is, but apparently he's an actor. He's 60, and he's an actor whose films include The Down, Gone Baby Gone, Argo, The Transformers, and he is best known for his starring role in Prime Video's Bosch. I've never heard of this person. I don't know a whole lot about celebrities, though, so... That's not really that surprising to me. talking about 
about how much we're losing ice, so that's more sad things. Mortgage rates reach a 13-year high. Why do people do this? Seriously, why do people read the news? It's so depressing. Life-saving gear. Oh, the 